Mary crowned with living light, temple of the Lord, place of peace and holiness, shelter of the world, mystery of sinless life in a fallen race. Free from shadow you reflect, plenitude of grace. Virgin Mother of our God, lift us when we fall. Who were named upon the cross, Mother of us all. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, heaven sings your praise. Mary magnifies your name through eternal days. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Mass of the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today also is the Memorial of St. Boniface, Bishop. And in this Mass we pray for Thomas Abbasolo, that God may receive him in heaven and grant him eternal rest. And also for Irene Hark, recently deceased. And for us to be worthy to celebrate this Mass, may we call to mind our sins and ask God for his mercies and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever Virgin, for all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. That Almighty God have mercy on us, May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We also include your private and family intentions at this Mass. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger, so that we may rejoice in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. 
before God and before Christ Jesus, who is to be judge of the living and the dead. I put this duty to you in the name of his appearing and of his kingdom. Proclaim the message and welcome or unwelcome, insist on it. Refute falsehood, correct error, call to obedience, but to all, but do all with patience and with the intention of teaching. The time is sure to come when, far from being content with sound teaching, people will be avid for the latest novelty and collect themselves a whole series of teachers according to their own taste. And then, instead of listening to the truth, they will tend to myths. Be careful always to choose the right course. Be brave under trials. Make the preaching of the good news your life's work in thoroughgoing service. As for me, my life is already being poured away as a libation and the time has come for me to be gone. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come now is the crown of righteousness reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his appearing. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. My lips are filled with your praise. With your glory all the day long. Do not reject me now that I am old. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. But as for me, I will always hope and praise you more and more. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. I will declare the Lord's mighty deeds, proclaiming your justice, your salon. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and proclaim your wonder still. My lips will tell of your justice, O oh Lord. So I will give you thanks on the land for your faithful love, my God. To you I will sing with the harp, to you the Holy One of Israel. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk about in long robes, to be greeted obsequiously in the market squares to take the front seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. These are the men who swallow the property of widows while making a sure of lengthy prayers. The more severe will be the sentence they receive. He sat down opposite the treasury and watch the people putting in money into the treasury. And many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, I tell you solemnly, this poor widow has put more in than all who have contributed to the treasury, for they have all put in money they had over. But she, from the little she had, has put in everything she possessed, all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Briefly, as we celebrate the Mass of the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and today is also the Memorial of St. Norbert, um, yesterday was that of St. Boniface. And Looking at the reading of today, beautifully put by St. Paul in the first reading, in the letter he wrote to Timothy, he expressed how concerned he is on the message he has preached to them. And he was encouraging them to hold strong to the correct teaching he has given. He encouraged them to be careful to make the right choice and be strong in times of trials. And I think this is important to us. As Catholics and as Christians, to hold strong to the correct teaching from the church, from the scriptures. At the same time, to be strong in times of trials, to be positive when we face challenges and difficulties of life. There's every tendency to go on the negative, to say, oh, Things can never be well anymore. To say, oh, what's the need to pray anymore? To say, oh, I'm tired. I can't move further anymore. But St. Paul is encouraging us today to hold forth and take courage and be strong in the face of trials and tribulations. At the same time, we do this humbly, not to our own glory, but to the glory of God. Submitting ourselves to him, like the widow did in the gospel today. She gave almost all she had to live on. And that is a sign of faith. That is a sign of confidence and trust in God the maker of heaven and earth, who has given us everything we have. 
and our life, our today and our tomorrow is in his hands. So may we ask God to grant us more grace to hold forth and strong in the face of challenges. And as we carry out our good works, not to show off, not to say we are the best, no, but to humble ourselves and submit ourselves to God in everything to his own glory and for our happiness and our salvation. May he bless his words in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the harvest and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to the Lord God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings your people make in commemoration of Blessed Mary be acceptable to you, O Lord, for by her virginity she pleased you and in humility conceived your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercies from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. My voices we pray John with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we are glad. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their bodies, gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them by the good fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray in the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spirit throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be as to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, confirmed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from our distress, as our ways the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, my peace to give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May we express the sign of peace to one another. And may the peace of Christ remain with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but for me say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. In a minute, may we receive our spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, you are present in your precious body and blood. May you come and dwell in the hearts of your children now and forever. Amen. Amen. O sacrament, O spoil, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this spiritual food, we pray, O Lord our God, that steadily imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always be found intent on the service of the Church and may know the joys of doing your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to this Mass. And may the good Lord continue to protect and bless and heal us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay well in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ah, I